Hi everyone, this is Miss Zahra. Today we are going to be reviewing Lesson 1, Map Earth's Features from Unit 3. The important vocabulary from this lesson is continent, earthquake, landform, latitude, longitude, plate, topographic map, and volcano. We will be reviewing these words in detail and looking at some examples of landforms and some questions that may come in your quiz. Okay, the first word we are going to look at is the word landform. Landform, these are physical features on Earth's surface. So think of them as the shapes that the Earth has. Okay, we can see that mountains are pointy and triangular shaped and they are very tall. Valleys are V-shaped. Okay, we will speak more about the different shapes of landforms in a few minutes. So remember a land form is a physical feature on Earth's surface. Now we can look at the word topographic and relief map. When we looked at our landforms, we saw that the earth is not flat. The earth has places that are high and places that are low. The word we use to measure height, how high something is above the sea, is called elevation. So elevation is how high something is above the sea. There are two maps that can show us how high something is above the sea. Remember that word? Elevation. So the two maps that show elevation are called topographic. Topographic and relief. The topographic map uses lines. These lines are called contour lines. We made this in class. You can see where the lines are close together. It shows us that it is getting steeper, so it is going very high, very fast. A relief map uses shading or colors. So we can see that in this map, they use different colors. Another word for that is shading. And this shows us height. This these two maps are of the same place and we can see that if we use colors we can show how high something is or if we use lines we can show how high something is above the sea. Remember that word again is elevation. Okay, So the map that uses lines to do this is called topographic. And the one that uses colors is called relief. It's a smaller word and starts with an R. Okay. Topographic is a longer word and starts with a T. And it uses lines. Now let's look at the word lat latitude and longitude. When we want to find a place on earth, we usually are given two numbers. One number tells us how far something is from the equator. 
and the other number tells us how far it is from the prime meridian, and this helps us to find a place on Earth. Latitude is the one that tells us how far something is from the equator. These lines go this way. It kind of looks like a lot of equal to signs if you look at it, right? Equal to, equal to, and that's equator. Looks like equal. So latitude, latitude goes this way. And it looks like equal to signs. And it tells us how far north or south something is from the equator. When we see that word equator, we need to think of latitude, the one with the t sound. Long, longitude shows us these long lines. So this one is a little easier to remember. Longitude are the long lines. They show us how far east or west something is from the prime meridian. Okay, so I know this word is a little difficult to remember, but if we can remember long, the long lines are the ones that show us east or west from the prime meridian. So longitude are the long lines. Latitude are the equal lines, right? The ones going horizontally. Okay, now let's look at the word volcano. A volcano is an opening. We can see that the earth is open over here. So it is an opening in the earth's surface where rocks, melted rocks and gases come out. They are pushed out. So we say they are forced out. So what is a volcano? It's when our earth has an opening. And from it comes our melted rock and gas. Earthquakes, we learned about them last year. They are when the earth shakes suddenly. And when it does that, it can cause breaks in the surface. So it is the sudden movement of the earth's crust. Here are some questions that you may see. What is a physical feature on the earth? A landform. What map uses lines? The t topographic map. What map uses shading or color? The relief map. What lines show how far north or south something is from the equator? Latitude. What shows us how far east or west something is from the prime meridian? Longitude. What do we call an opening in the Earth's surface? A volcano. And what do we call the sudden shaking of the earth? An earthquake. Hey, if you find any of these questions difficult, please re-watch the video and practice those words again. Hey, now we are going to look at the landforms that we find on earth. There are many different landforms listed over here on our page, so we are going to review them and the different ways we can remember their shape and how we can remember the shape with the word. Okay, the first one is quite easy. It's the word mountain. We all know mountains make high triangular shapes. Right? We learned this in grade two. They are high. They are high above Earth's surface. Then we have a canyon. A canyon is 
when we have a river like this river that cut this mountain and because it cut the mountain it makes the valley a u shape so over here when the valley the land between the mountains makes a u shape we call it a canyon so u shape canyon Okay, a valley, we can see it over here, a valley is when our mountains meet and they make V shapes. So a valley, the V4 valley, it is the lowland between a hill or a mountain. And remember our canyon is a valley, but it makes a U shape. So we give this one a special name, canyon. Okay, here we can see that valley again. Now let's look at the word plain. If you look over here, you see that there is nothing here. It is just flat. And that is what plain means. It is a wide, flat area of land. Plain means flat. Okay, so here are some practice questions. Can you identify the features? Well, we can see that this is tall. It is our mountain. This makes a V-shape. It is our valley. We can see our flat land is our plain. And we can see our U-shape over here, which is our canyon. Okay, so now let's talk about our ocean features. When we learned about the ocean features, I told you the, the flattest part of the ocean floor, just like in the, the previous slide, we saw that the flat piece of earth was called plain. Under the ocean, we also call the flat part plain, but so that we know the difference that this one is under the sea, we add the word abyssal. An abyssal plain is a flat piece of land under the sea. A regular plain is just above the sea. Okay? So plain just means flat. If it's under the sea, we say abyssal plain. Hey, the duh, deepest part of the ocean, duh for down, is the trench. And ocean features that we call underwater mountains, one is called a sea mount, like sea mountain, sea mount. And another one is called the mid-ocean ridge. These are mountains that they just look kind of like a little bit higher. And then you'll see a V shape in between. Like this. So over here, you can see some trenches. And this area would form like a mountain sort of thing. And that would be your mid-ocean ridge. Okay, so the deepest part of the earth is the trench, right? Right under the sea. The deepest part is called our trenches. Sea mount is our island. This one is an island because it's coming above the sea. But we have just learned it as sea mount. So this one over here, if it was shorter, would have been our sea mountain. Okay, so here we have our mid-ocean ridge. It's usually like bigger if you look at it from the side. It makes a whole line. And here is our V-shape, our rift valley. Just like we get a valley above 
the ground. With mountains, we get a valley under the ground. And this one is called a rift valley. Continental slope. Sl, like a slide, because it's sliding down. Continental shelf, because it's straight. And our abyssal plain is just the flattest piece that we have. Okay, so remember the word continental, continental. It comes three times. We also know if the land goes up a little and then down, we will call this continental rise. Okay, so please give this word wall a practice. You will find the link in LMS. Okay, the next thing that you should give a try is on page 19. These questions are about the, le uh, the lesson's name. It's called Our Puzzle Planet. So we wanted to know what features do we find near a plate boundary where the Earth's crust can move against each other. Remember, they can move toward each other. They can move away from each other, which we sometimes call apart, or they can slide past each other. And when they do this, they make shapes on our earth. They make our landforms. So what features do they cause? Well, we saw in our simulations that they make earthquakes happen, they make mountains and they make volcanoes. They do not make flat land, so they do not make abyssal plains. Okay, so what do we find near the plate boundary? We find a lot of earthquakes, mountains, volcanoes. We do not find an abyssal plain. Okay, this question, where would you most likely find a volcano? Well, when we studied it, most volcanoes, we find them on this section over here. All along it, actually, most of them are found here. And that is called a plate boundary. So most volcanoes are found at plate boundaries. Hey, thank you for listening, and I hope this video helps you. Please practice for our quiz, and good luck.